Hey guys, we got a Fronius Primo here um, with the error code state 241. I'm going to show you how to reset this code. Um, typically, when you have this code, um, you either had a power outage or uh, the back feeding breaker in your main service panel has tripped or is off. Um, so, the first thing you want to do is go to your main service panel, open the cover, and make sure that the back feeding breaker is on and not tripped. Um, and if that's good and you're getting voltage there um, and you know it's on, um, maybe you had a power outage or something like that. Um, but this is specifically for the Fronius Primo inverter. Um, but what you want to do is you just want to, it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but there is a enter sign on the very right. You just want to hit that. And then the, there's probably going to be a couple weird little codes. I wouldn't even worry about those because state 241 is typically that it had a power outage or something happened with the grid voltage. You just want to keep pushing it. You push this basically as many times until you start to see it say wait master ready. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is it's going to it's going to do this loading bar. Um, it may take a second for it to turn on um, but see what happens with it because you'll see a green light here turn on and not a yellow one anymore and you'll start to see your production on here and you you might also hear some clicking on the inverter but give this a second it'll say wait AC grid timer or sorry wait AC grid test timer um, so it's got a little loading bar right there and it'll load all the way across and then it should turn on so we'll give this a second and see what happens but that should be the fix Okay, now it's going to say wait test and it's going to say loading master and you should hear some clicking in the inverter. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it on the video, but typically there's some clicking when it's turning on here. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's a click, click. Okay, so there it is. So you should see a green light on the bottom and then you should see this. So basically what that wattage mean is what you're producing at that moment. Um, so this is gonna ramp up probably close to 7,000 watts because of the size of the inverter, but this is good to go. Simple, quick, easy fix. Um, typically to just make sure under this that the disconnect, it's called a DC disconnect switch, is on. It's gonna kinda have a weird angle at it, but it's gonna be pointing kinda at you. Um, and then also make sure that your disconnect if you have one in your state is on as well but should be good to go simple fix for homeowners um, that are having issues with solar companies getting out to fix a simple issue like this so hopefully this video helps you have a great day